A local dog training business is looking to help with cases of suspected bed bug infestations. The dog boss provides rescued animals with a forever home and the important job of sniffing out unwelcome pests. Holly Harrer has more on what they call the Sherlock Holmes of canines. Meet Rami. Rami, come. He's a three-year-old blackmouth cur and a rescue. He's also trained to sniff out bed bugs. Good boy, find the bugs. He was always very inquisitive with other things around the house, so I figured I'd just try and channel that into something, give him a job, he has high energy, so he likes to do that, and uh, just gives a little bit more of a bond between him and I. Check here. Ed Mann is the boss behind the Dog Boss brand. He began the dog training business to provide a safe haven for rescued animals, as well as a job for him and Rami when he retires from the police force. Good boy. I like helping the rescue dogs, and this is just going to be like a segue into retirement. I still get to work with the dogs. Helps a lot of people out, and all the dogs that I use for the program are rescue dogs. Find a bug. Check here. Rami has over 600 hours of training and has been working for over a year. That's <laughs> a good boy. Patience is the key thing. You gotta have patience with the dogs. They gotta have fun with it. So he's having fun. You see earlier when we did this stuff. He's having fun. His tail's wagging. He just enjoys doing that. Ed says it's a great service for people who suspect bed bugs before ripping their home apart. It's very costly to take paneling down remove drywall, things of that nature, where the dog can come in, can scan and eliminate that whole section of the house. Rami is trained to sit when detecting the odor, which alerts Ed of an infestation. They have a distinct odor. Beds are the number one hiding place for bed bugs, but Rami is trained to detect them in playrooms, vehicles, and even theater seats. No matter where you might feel there's an issue, Rami's got you covered. Oh, that's an easy one. In Leola, Holly Harrer, News 11.